Accurate collection of environmental monitoring samples is a critical part of making sure your environmental monitoring program, or EMP, is successful. Incorrect sampling, storage, and shipping can bias your data and give you falsely high or low results. Once an area is selected for sampling, a sponge or swab is used to sample the surface. Sponges can be used for larger flat surfaces around a square foot max, while a swab should be used for smaller or harder to reach surfaces, maxing out at around three square inches. Sponges can have a stick attached to them or not, and swabs can be pre-moistened or not, but all should have a small amount of media in them to keep bacteria alive between sampling and testing. While wearing gloves, sterilely open the sample, avoiding touching the sampling end of the sponge or swab. Take the sponge or swab and sample back and forth in one direction before flipping over and sampling back and forth in the other direction. Sterilely place the sponge or swab back into the container, and in the cases of sponges with sticks, break the stick off by sharply twisting or rocking the stick back and forth. Close the container or bag and seal by rolling down or snapping closed. Label the container clearly using a permanent marker so the lab can read it. Once all of your samples are collected, Collected, proceed to filling out your submission form and packing the samples. Sponges and swabs should be received to the lab within 36 hours of sampling in most cases and should be received between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. It is recommended to package using what we call the sandwich technique, with cold packs on the bottom, samples in the middle, and cold packs on top. It's important to use insulated boxes that are the appropriate size for the amount of samples and to keep them cold. This is especially important during the warmer seasons and to make sure you use more cold packs as the seasons change. Lastly, include your filled out submission form in the packaging before sealing and shipping to your microback location. Make sure to protect it from cold packs so it doesn't get wet and is still readable by the time it is received to the lab.